Alec Baldwin has been busy trying to garner sympathy from everyone after his ridiculous interview with George Stephanopoulos on ABC News, where he basically tried to shift the blame for everything and tried to appear like a victim, all the while completely lying about everything, contradicting himself multiple times. And if you're someone that's, you know, maybe Alec Baldwin's attorney or lawyer or something like that, you can't be happy with how this ended up going. And in fact, maybe Alec Baldwin himself isn't very happy with it because this happened not too long after that interview aired. Alec Baldwin deletes Twitter account following tell-all interview about Russ. Alec Baldwin deleted one of his two verified Twitter accounts. And in fact, before he did this interview, I talked about that as well. Before he did this interview, he went protected because he is a bitch, because Alec Baldwin is a lying sack of garbage. We all know what's going on. We all know how he's trying to spin everything to try to push the blame on everyone else and take absolutely zero accountability or responsibility for what happened. And if you don't believe that, if you think he does take some sort of responsibility, well, uh, Alec Baldwin himself can tell you that that's just not true. Your emotions are so clearly so right there on the surface. You felt shock. You felt anger. You felt sadness. Do you feel guilt? No, no. How quickly this sack of garbage, uh, just, no, no guilt, no, no guilt whatsoever. And in fact, no responsibility, as he later tells him. I feel that there is, I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened. And I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. What an absolute piece of garbage Alec Baldwin is. But now, evidently, there might be a little too much backlash or he's playing the victim again or something that has led him to completely delete his Twitter account. Alec Baldwin has deleted one of his two Twitter accounts following his tell-all interview, and by tell-all, they mean completely lie, with George Stephanopoulos about the shooting incident that took place on the set of the movie Rust. The actor had two verified Twitter accounts, one of which he was more active on and one which he used to use previous, uh, previously issue statements about the fatal shooting incident that took place on the set of the indie Western movie in October. However, following his interview last week, it seems the star has completely deleted the account labeled at Alec Baldwin. However, his other account at Alec Baldwin with a couple random underscores remains live with the latest tweet being from October 19th. Prior to that, it was only active in June. It is unclear why the actor chose this time to delete the account. Reps for Baldwin did not immediately respond to Fox News' request for comment. However, the timing coincides with the debut of his interview with Stephanopoulos, which was his first formal interview since the onset tragedy that results in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injured the director, Joel Souza. And of course, they have his quote right there. I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I do not think he should have said that. I think it's a really bad look for him to say that he should have stayed silent. And in fact, he told everybody, remember? He told everybody on the side of the road, I can't answer questions. I can't talk about anything. It's an open investigation. But then in reality, at the beginning of this interview, he tells George Stephanopoulos, well, the investigation's still open, but I needed to say something. So you weren't ordered like you lied to everybody about. You weren't ordered by the sheriffs not to talk about this. Alec Baldwin is a liar. And any of the tears that he's crying, let's just keep in mind this man is an actor. But I, so I hope somebody makes a YouTube compilation video of every time Alec Baldwin has cried in a movie and we can just sync it up with how it looked in his interview. And now he deletes his Twitter either uh, for because of PR reasons, because maybe a lot of the stuff that he'd said before and retweeted before didn't look very good for him. This dude's scum, absolute scum. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well, and I'll talk to you guys later.